homeowners in Phoenix are now allowed to build more than a shed in their backyards after the city council approved a law that legalizes casitas. Supporters say the measure could help alleviate the city's current housing shortage by providing more housing options. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia has more on what this potentially looks like and what it means for homeowners. You might see more of these popping up in Phoenix backyards. Builders of these tiny homes say it gives homeowners more options either to expand their living space or to create a new long term rental unit. We had a need for an older family member, so uh, I started exploring options. His family nicknamed this guest house Apartment 2B. Something like this 700 square foot, one bedroom, one bathroom mini home can cost around 150000 to over $200,000 to build. Since the legislation passed last night, we've already gotten you know, several messages and emails from people who are interested and want to learn more. There's already been a constant need and demand, not only in Phoenix, but in a lot of other cities around the country. And I think that's only going to grow now that people have the right to, to build. Everything you see here, the unit comes with uh, sink, appliances, um, your full kitchen setup. The city of Phoenix calls them accessory dwelling units. They can't be larger than a thousand square feet for most properties and less than 15 feet tall. They can include full kitchens and bathrooms and be used as rental units, but not for short term rentals. The lease must be at least 31 days or more. This isn't going out and buying a $200,000 Range Rover that depreciates the moment you drive it off the lot. This is actually an income generating um, value added product that's going to enhance the value of your home. He says the majority of their clients are using the units to house family members like elderly parents or adult children. Well, it enhances the square footage value. Um, but overall, it, it really enhances the value of, of the property. Uh, in, in my calculation, um, you know, the value added to what it cost me was three to four times more value added. So I look at it as a real investment, uh, growth investment with appreciation. The new ordinance goes into effect in early November. In Phoenix, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.